Come on, mine some rocks for me. Yeah, I'll just do this. Take your resources. I should get the Crystaller working. Okay, so for defenses, we're going to work on stone golems. These are essential for our for our defense. It needs cryolithium. That's made at the crystallery. That's why we need to get this going as quickly as possible. Now stop being confused and get to work. Oh yeah, we also need Essence Collector. I'm gonna have an Essence Collector array up here. We're eventually going to clear these trees out, so to make room for more of them. Okay, we're gonna make this one stone golem combulator. Basically, stone golems will be the meat of our defense. It's gonna do all of our damage and tank all of the damage. Then after we get as many stone golems as we can, we'll also add ballista towers. These things over here, these are big, they have a long range and fire over the walls we're going to build, which are curtain walls. I found that stone golems are pretty much essential to defend in Nightmare. And this isn't up yet, so I we're kinda fucked. Kinda. So I'm going to have to like defend hard with these colors gates. We only have two colors gates, so we need to make the most of them until we can get this up and running. We'll put this in here and this. In here. Now on day two, we get these slimes. Which have some resistances. In our case, they're not resistant to anything we can attack them with. This isn't done yet? Fuck. Come on. Fight the slimes. Now this could be a problem. Okay, so as soon as we have 125 uh, essence in this thing, we get a stone golem. We actually should have had more by now.
I do not want my village being overrun slimes and by headless. Come on, hurry up. Could have sworn I summoned a holy golem. I guess my village is going to have to take a little bit of damage for now. So, it's almost ready. Yeah, I'm going to summon a holy golem. To help with the defense. Just continue placing these things in the Cullis Gates. And there we go. Stone Golems are pretty uh, slow, but they have a lot of HP. And once we fully upgrade the Combulators, or Combo... Combobulators, They'll actually have a ranged attack. We just need to make sure they don't do too much damage for now. Pull you. I'm gonna try not to do that to the low HP monsters. That's a wild doggo. You go in here. And I don't want them destroying my well, so I'm going to have to pull them off. There we go. We have four doggos now. So once this third golem comes out, we should be fine. Actually, I'll just start the next upgrade. Because what upgrading does is it adds another golem that it can spawn. It also makes all the golems stronger. Next thing we need, um, we got all of those, we need a forge. What this will do is turn the, the, what's it called, the iron ore into iron ingots. And we need these for that last upgrade of the combobulator, as well as so, so we can make some tools out of them, which makes everyone work faster. Okay, so we got a key here. And we just drop it you know, onto the loot box like so. And we got a bunch of useless stuff. Well, they're used for something, just not things that we need at this point in time. Okay, so... Okay, now we'll have four golems here. This essence collector moves the energy into his combobulator, so we're good for now. We're good for defense for now. So after this, I want to start upgrading things that require a lot of wood. So we'll upgrade this another time. 
start upgrading our lumber shack. And we have rock, so we'll upgrade our mining facility. Each of these gives a 10% bonus to harvesting. And we don't need to do that for the crystal, to the crystal harvestry for now. It's expensive anyway. So we'll leave that for now. We'll upgrade the lumber shack and the mining facility. We'll get the max upgrades. And then after that, we'll focus on upgrading these houses. So I have a 6% global, 12% building. And... You know what? Let's upgrade this again. Also consider pulling some wood. I'm pulling from the Radiance Pools. Are these... Oh, wild doggos. Okay, bring them into our village. Oh, this one's actually full. At this time, I just want to pull as much wood as possible. And confuse Jade Summers at the same time, apparently. Okay, yeah, upgrades are good so far. You have 7 and 14. Hmm. Okay, if you try to put resources into the building and it doesn't let you, it's because someone is already bringing resources there. It's kind of annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. What are you? Wild... That's a doggo! Here you go, doggo. Welcome to the village. Now you just need to be tamed. Okay, we need smelters... Um... Take off one of our stone cutters. I'll let this begin smelting first before I do this upgrade. I need eight iron ingots before I can fully upgrade this. Uh, okay, so I want to add the iron ore and the iron ingots to this bar up here. Just to make it easier to keep track of. Okay, one last upgrade for these facilities. We're also going to need to upgrade our housing. So you can get like sleep bonuses. Now there's three different upgrades we can do, but the most effective I've found to be is the standard housing. And that's what we're going to do. Oh yeah, I should also get those rain collectors. Rain catchers. 
Two of them should be fine. Just so we don't have to constantly rely on these wells. And we got nomads coming from somewhere. Oh shit, it's over here. Okay, I don't want you going through the corruption. I also want those doggos. Where are you? Come here, doggo. Put you here. Bring the doggo over. That's not a doggo. Doggo, over here. The hell are you? Another doggo, okay. Bring all the wild doggos. Yeah, bring the antler over here. I was thinking of using this choke point earlier, but I don't think we need it since we're building the walls all over here above this body of water over here, all the way over here and cutting through over here. So this choke point won't really do much. Oh, I also need to make sure that there's actually a path between here and here because I'm blocking this area off. So we need to open this up a little bit. Just so stuff can pass through. Because if uh, the monsters spawn over here and there's no way to get into the entrance of my base over here, they'll actually just attack the walls and go in through that way. And I do not want them to do that. Okay, we have seven iron ingots now. We'll upgrade this now. Okay, after that we'll upgrade our farms. And then we'll add our... Housing upgrades. What the hell? Okay. Uh huh. Is there anyone else? This is a. Hey, doggo! Come here. Okay, fire and stone golems. These level 6 golems, I want to get rid of them. There. And this will f uh, give us some fire stone golems. Which have a ranged attack. Where are you? Yeah, level 15 versus level 6 and level 10 respectively. I need to replace those with the Firestone Golems. Raid our rain catchers while we're there. Okay, these two are fully upgraded. So we have a 20% bonus to wood harvesting and rock harvesting. And here comes the zombie child. They're actually vulnerable to fire and magic fire, so... These Firestone Golems will do a number on them. A huge number. Like that number.
So they'll pretty much just handle all of the defense for tonight. Ooh, whirly thing. I don't want another loot box. So we'll just pull wood for the rest of the night. Or wait, can I steal any resources? I always forget to check. Yeah. I'll take this iron ore. Can I... No. Can I take this? Are you close enough? Partially. So we let's drain these radiance pools. Okay, I'm not upgrading these rain catchers anymore for now. I also tried to collect the essence that the monsters leave off. We should get one more stone golem. Fire stone golem. There we go. So we're maxed. You know what? I'll just pull some zombies for now. Just to make things a little bit easier for everyone. We're also going to have to deal with this trash eventually. This trash will, have, will, if we just leave it on the ground, they'll eventually spawn these trashy slimes to attack our village. So we need to place a landfill to deal with them. First, we need to set the marketplace. And we'll pause it for now. So no one will do anything with it. We just want to mark the location where I'm placing it. Yeah, I also want to start making tools. We'll place it here. Would it be better to put it here? Probably not. I'm gonna add more stone cutteries and lumber shacks over here. That's a wild doggo. We need to start upgrading our housing. I actually want to remove this because it's kind of uh, in an awkward position. I also want to build another stone golem combobulator over here. Okay, you're about to finish. Now let's get some tools for everyone.
Get to work, tool smithy. So we're really stone heavy at this point in time, so maybe we should begin the combobulator. Not towers, um, golems. Here we go. Can I steal anything from you? Yeah, there we go. Steal over here. Whirly thing over here. And another loot box. Full now, so we should pull from over here. 